So I've had my HP Spectre here for about a year, probably almost two years, and I found that I was always having to cart around all these accessories for it, um, mainly because it's a, it's a Thunderbolt 3 laptop when it only has uh, two Thunderbolt ports and your USB Type-A right there. And so I was carting around my my dongle, my hub, I even had a laptop cooler for it, it would sit on. And I also had my hard drive, my extra hard drive if I needed stuff, and then it was just kind of a mess. Um, so I decided I would combine all of that. Um, I'm a college student, I move around a lot, um, and I'm also an engineering, so I do need a mouse um, sometimes if I'm doing SolidWorks or something like that. So I built this ultimate dock here. It has everything you need. It has obviously the hub, um, and I got a pretty deluxe hub for it. It's got two HDMIs, a bunch of USBs. Um, it's got two fans, cooling fans that are right below here and here, which is where the air inlets and the, the fans are for the laptop anyway. So it gives it that extra cooling. And it has a spare mouse. So I can throw this in my backpack and I never have to worry about forgetting a mouse or having the mouse bouncing around in my backpack or something. It just stays right there. This top piece here is what actually inspired me to do the build. This is uh, off of my old laptop cooler and it actually fits the, the base of my laptop pretty well because the, the Spectre has a 16-9 screen ratio and it's, it's almost like a piece of paper dimensions. Um, my old laptop cooler probably went up to about there or bigger and then out this high, this far on each side. And was probably just as tall as this. But I think this has a lot sleeker look and also obviously packs a lot more features in. The side is uh, some aluminum I cut to size and I'll talk about that a little more later. And the bottom is a piece of acrylic um, I got from Home Depot. And I actually painted it to look like aluminum. Um, this is uh, some aluminum paint, is what it's called. And then I used some sandpaper to put the brushed look on it. But then I found, I actually found this copper colored real aluminum later. Um, and I probably would have used it for the bottom, but I already had, had it made. So let's take a 360 look at this thing. The front, I left the front clear. I like that clean look on the front. On the side, we have a USB 3.0, and uh, this is the fan. This is the switch for the fans. We can actually turn that on real quick. Okay, I got it plugged in now. There's a fan right there and right there, and I just got all this stuff from. AliExpress. The fans are wired up using a sacrificial USB plug. I just cut it off and, and they're 5 volt fans. Ran it into this switch. Real simple. Looks cool too. On the back here we got our, our main plug here. I put it on this side because my laptop has this uh, corner plug that can just go right there. Um, that's really nice. We also got the power delivery, two HDMIs, two card slots, and a USB header. I also put a heat sink on the top of this um, this USB hub. I had one before and it died. The HDMI stopped working. I'm pretty sure it was the heat that, that did it in. And then over here we have the Ethernet port, which is an extension from the side of this. Over here is the little door for the mouse and you just pull it out with this ribbon here it's actually electrical tape and you can turn it on 
and it's already plugged in um, from the inside there. Here's the inside of the dock. The main part is the hub here. I glued this down using an old trick um, where you put duct tape on both surfaces and then use super glue to put the pieces of duct tape together. That way if you want to remove it all you don't get super glue residue over everything. This one has five USB ports, so three USB 3.0s, including the USB-C, and then two USB 2.0s. It has your power delivery, two HDMIs, two card slots, uh, RJ45, and a VGA. This is an adapter here. Um, this just has the two dongles. Um, and you can add more, it has, has two more slots available. This is the switch for the fans. Here's our two USB 3.0 um, extensions here. There's a one terabyte hard drive. Uh, I'll probably get a solid state drive, it's a lot smaller. This one is really hard to fit in here. Then you got the mouse. These magnets here are actually super glued on the aluminum. Surprisingly very strong. I had to take it off a couple times and I'd use vice grips to get it off um, to get them in a, in a different position. They're blocking the top. And then you just pull the ribbon here, which is just electrical tape, and then you can pull it out. The foam on the top here that stops the mouse from rattling uh, stops it from sliding out also. The side is made of this copper colored aluminum I found at Home Depot, which is really cool. Um, it comes in a big sheet and I cut it to these strips using a table router. Um, mostly used to cut baseboards, but it cut through the aluminum really well and made a nice straight cut. And then I used a 12 millimeter socket um, to get these round edges here. To get all the holes for the, the standoffs, I drilled a hole initially um, just using a, a drill and then I used files to shape it to size. They're not perfect, but it, it, you get what you get, right? This hinge is, I think I got for one or two dollars at Home Depot. And then on the whole top section is held on by these brass standoffs. A lot of this stuff I got from AliExpress as well, including these brackets. The fans are wired in parallel, I believe, which gives them a lot, makes them a lot faster than in series. I considered doing series to be quieter, but I think in the future I'm going to get a potentiometer so I can just turn a dial, put it next to this, and I'll just be able to turn the dial and increase or decrease the fan speed but I'll just leave it for now. My original design, I had planned to put another pair of speakers on the front like this because the these Ultrabook speakers are pretty lousy um, compared to like a MacBook or a, or a larger laptop. And so I got um, these, this stuff from AliExpress. Um, it's actually a pretty cool uh, little board here. Um, it's got the two speakers. It's a really miniature amplifier and then it can do Bluetooth I think but I would just do the um, USB and the computer recognized the device I tested it it works great just the speakers I got kind of stink they're actually worse than the speakers already on my computer and they don't quite fit in here um, they're a little too tall and this is way more cramped than I had planned um, the cords and the cables end up taking up so much more room than you'd think, especially the USB 3.0 cables. They've, they're so stiff. They've so much in insulation. It's hard to, to move them around. So I barely fit everything I need in here, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, most places, I mean, most of the time I'll just be here or, um, when I go back to my dorm, I'll have my speakers here. So... 
that's another thing. Um, you guys can give me any suggestions on what you would do or what you would add or change. Um, this is uh, this is the first one I've seen like this. I've seen um, the closest thing I've seen is something on AliExpress, and you actually get to put a it's a tabletop dock, USB-C dock, and it has a slot for a solid state drive, just like you'd put on the bottom of your motherboard in a computer. But that's about it. I haven't seen the whole cooling solution, and then I put the mouse in there. That's a little unique need for me. I really like that. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that, give you guys some ideas.